Why do we work every day? It's for money, you would say. To buy more stuff along the way. We're all caught in this money game. Working jobs that bring no flame. We trade our lives for fancy things. Cars, big houses, diamond rings. But our souls are empty, our minds are a mess. Caught up in all this money stress. Don't let the world decide your fate. Wake up before it is too late. Before you reach that heaven's gate. Cause being rich in the grave will be the result of a wage. Slavery was never abolished. It was only extended to include all colors. It's a quote from Charles Bukowski. Should you avoid getting a job? Or are you trapped in wage if you have one? Before we dive into it, I do not want to convince you to quit your job. Nor do I want to convince you to not get a job if you don't have one. I'm simply sharing the truth that I found for myself in regards to work and money. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, and I'm making videos on YouTube since 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance. But I am a conditioned individual just like you. I'm not better than you because of this. I do not have understood all the intricacies of my mind yet. I may have made some realizations that are absolutely true, but never believe me because beliefs will always remain beliefs. So if you're serious, question my words as you watch along. So why do you have a job? I can't answer this for you. So why do most people have a job? It's money, right? So let's talk about that, money. What is the truth about money? Steve Jobs once said, being the richest man in the cemetery doesn't matter to me. And my question to you, are you occupied with money? Occupied with the idea of money? How often do you think about this? Every hour, every lunch break, the world is asking you to think about this. Are you succumbing to it? If you are, why are you occupied with this idea of money? Anything about it, you should get more of it, whatever it may be, just thinking about money. Why are you occupied with it? Are you poor? Is that the thing? And maybe it is a natural desire to survive. But even if you are poor, you don't have to think about money the whole day, 24 seven, right? And when you look at the rich, they're also occupied with thinking about money all the time, afraid of losing it, desire to make more. I'm not saying that money is bad. I do not care about what anyone says is good or bad. It's not about that. I'm just sharing the truth. What is the truth? Every situation has a truth. So what is the truth? If you are thinking about money, you cannot see, right? You cannot see right now here. This is basically in front of your eyes. It is clouding your sight. And you may understand this by, for instance, when you are cycling and there is thoughts coming up, you do not hear the music anymore that are coming in your AirPods or the podcast you listen to, right? The same thing happens with your thoughts about money in this case. You can no longer see reality because you're occupied. And isn't the peace of a quiet mind more important than one filled with shallow thoughts of money? You're unserious if you believe me. You're serious if you ask this yourself. I say shallow thoughts because money is shallow, isn't it? I mean, beyond the need to survive, beyond that, which you don't need much money for that, if you're honest with yourself, money starts to become shallow. I mean, how many cars do you need to feel happy? How big does your house need to be to be content? How nice should your clothes be in order to feel confident? So my question, and please listen to this with your attention, for only then you can understand. Do you evaluate money according to what you need or to what you desire? It's a form of unintelligence if you are pushed into pursuing money or anything for that sake. You would be unintelligent to be pushed into pursuing something that is coming from society, other people. So how to live intelligently, to put a limit on your needs. Reminds me of a question I heard when I was quite young, maybe 12 years old from Ellen Watts. What would you like to do if money was no object? So to place yourself in a situation where you don't need much, that's how you live intelligently, to put a limit on your needs. Not so they, for example, grow with your income. So think about it, what do you really need? Food, water, some clothes, not much, but some. Shelter, find this out for yourself so you may start to become detached to money, <laughs> which I think when I look back at it, I was afraid of this. When I thought about it, I thought I would think about not having money or not caring about it later on when I have it. And 
that only led to waste of time. So if you feel maybe the same fear that I felt back then, you may start to see that that fear is telling you at least something. But, but what about the future, you may say? Where do you see yourself in three to five years? Popular question of employers. I also ask this all the time to employees that I want to hire. And the sad truth is that most don't know. They just say something and most never ask that to themselves or really ask it. And I'm not saying you should right now, but I'm not saying that. I'm just stating the truth that most don't want to ask. Most don't want to find out and thus end up where the world takes them. This is true. Do you see this? It's really important to see this, that most are driving without knowing the destination. So they end up at a random place when their car stops working. And the truth is that all of our cars stop working at some point. So will you waste your gasoline or use it to arrive somewhere where you want? Are there jobs out there that to you not feel like wasting your time? Are there people out there working a job that they would continue to be doing even if they didn't get paid for it? Yes, those people are out there, those jobs are out there. Not many, I mean look around you. But it is possible and it is a possibility for you. Reminds me of a story that Tom Waits wrote. My kids are starting to notice that I'm a little different than other dads. Why don't you have a straight job like everyone else? They asked me the other day. I told them this story. In the forest, there was a crooked tree and a straight tree. Every day, the straight tree would say to the crooked tree, look at me, I'm tall and I'm straight and I'm handsome. Look at you, you're crooked and bent over. No one wants to look at you. And they grew up in that forest together. And then one day the loggers came and they saw the crooked tree and the straight tree. And they said, just cut the straight trees and leave the rest. So the loggers turned all the straight trees into lumber and toothpicks and paper. And the crooked tree is still there, growing stronger and stranger every day. So my question to you, are you willing to live strange in this world in order to really fully live? That's my question to you. But do you dare to question it yourself? We started with a quote from Charles McCarthy, and I end with one. To not have entirely wasted one's life seems to be a worthy accomplishment, if only for myself. So by all means, find a job where you do not feel like you're wasting your time. But if you do feel like you're wasting your time for this piece of paper that you only want for external reasons, then you may ask yourself some honest questions. Self-honesty is your only savior. Self-honesty helps you to find it, what you are chosen to do, your true calling in life, your birthright, your mastery. May you find it before you run out of that gasoline, my friend, before your car stops working. May you find it. Talk soon. Only the serious person may check the show notes.